time, I want to turn to an all new impact earth report because Phoenix has nearly 5,000 miles of streets and all of that dark asphalt make this city even hotter. Now that's why Phoenix is expanding its cool pavement program, a coating that can lower street temperatures dramatically. ABC 15's Adam Clapp has shown us how it all works. This cool pavement was just laid down about 15 minutes ago, and it's already making a difference by pointing our temperature gun at the cool pavement. It's coming in around 110, 111 degrees. But if we back up just a little bit and take a reading on the pavement that has not been coated by cool pavement, you can see it's seven degrees higher. Well, today we're out at one of our cool pavement locations here near 19th Avenue in Camelback. It doesn't look like typical paint. What's in it? It looks like you're painting the street. So there's various pigments and, and secret stuff in there uh, that helps uh, combat the urban heat island. And that urban heat island is a big deal. All the valley's concrete, roads, and buildings trap heat. Keeps our nighttime temperatures hotter than the surrounding uh, desert environment. And climate studies found the heat island made this neighborhood as much as eight degrees warmer than normal. We're looking at that heat index. We're using data uh, to help prioritize those areas that need more shade and we're using that to you know, target areas for cool pavement. This guy got toasted. This guy is being toasted this year. Neighbor Ed Kearns has seen that firsthand. His front yard plants wilted in the sun, and shade is scarce on his street. Yeah, the palm trees don't really provide a whole bunch of that, do they? He's hopeful this lighter pavement could bring some relief. I was pretty happy to be a part of it because if it lowers the temperature of our home or neighborhood, I think that'd be great. But he's also realistic believing this is just one piece of solving the bigger puzzle of lowering overall temperatures in the valley. I'm not sure whether the pavement is going to fix that or if we have more of a global issue that we need to tend to. So my hope would be, you know, sustainable weather for the future. With this project complete, there's now nearly 150 miles of cool pavement throughout the city of Phoenix. Adam Klepp, ABC 15, Arizona. I mean, that's very informational. I always wondered how much cooler that cool pavement was. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, well, he mentions the urban heat island effect, which we know, Jorge, you tell us all the time. I mean, those urban centers really do get toasty, especially in the summer.